it seems I sent Wolverine on a hero op, and because of that, we can't really use him. We can't really do the Los Diablos mission with the Gamma Accelerator. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring Eddie Brock in. I don't know if that's going to be a conflict because there's always consequences after a story mission. You know, I don't know if it's going to be a, a thing, but at least, you know, this is going to be its own mission in the evening. We could talk to Eddie. I know they're going to want me to reach out and speak to him. Uh, so let's see what happens. So you can see Scarlet Witch is here. She's on a hero op, and Wolverine over there is on a hero op, so... Sorry, <laughs> but we'll be okay. Because this one takes Spider-Man. And he just came back from a hero op. Going to New York City. And let's assume the third one is going to be Venom. Be a new learning curve here because he's got a whole different... Uh... Just because there is talk of a slime monster lurking beneath Manhattan does not mean... Oh, it does. Look, I know Eddie. And Venom. They're not what you'd call unsore losers. And we did, you know, kind of bury them under an old bell tower. Has anyone seen the creature since? Long gone by the time S.H.I.E.L.D. showed up. They go to ground when you wound their pride. In this case, underground. Venom on the loose, licking his wounds. Now that's a friendly neighborhood problem. So, how about we go solve it? Do you have a question? <laughs> you gotta work on your social cues. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We definitely want to have a recovery nanobot. Because we're going to be dealing with something else... Probably not Lillen. Remember, we've learned that some of these uh, mystical creatures that we're fighting are also not working on behalf of Lillen. So, Lilith. So, let's see what we can do about that. And then that said, we got some this, we got this. What else can we use? Battlefield scanner. Mark II will give us four cards free, and I like that. Um, I don't seem to have anything... Well, I have my own stuff that can heal Spider-Man or myself, so that's okay. I don't think I need a healing salve. And whatever default stuff that Venom has, we'll learn from it. Now, what does Spider-Man have, and what do I have? Okay. I think it's pretty good. I don't think we need Infernal Spider for this. I think in this case I usually like to have two mind benders, and it's good to have it. I'm I only regret we don't have a a third person to restore our combat items, hint. But <laughs> These are heroes, they should be able to do it. Look at Spider-Man, he's ready to go. Ready, Spidey? Are you worried that Venom will hold a grudge? Well, I wouldn't say worried. I've come to expect it. And you still think this is a good idea? Yeah. Eddie tries to be a savior, but sometimes he needs to be saved from himself. Besides, what's the worst that could happen? He could eat one of us. I ain't much of a conversationalist. More of a fighter. Chaos magic is a huge drain on my mental health, you know. I really thought they were going to see us off. I didn't think they were going to give us the usual Abbey stuff. He's Portal. I just wondered if anybody had anything to say to us. There, Spidey, it's let's go. 
<laughs> I see, she said it. East portal. Let's do it. The deep, dark, venomous death. Oh, what a contrasting landscape. So this is the first time I did not work with Venom. all the first slime time in the world. So, where's our slime monster? Vampire. Ah, uh, vampires. Maybe it's the Downtown Express? Sounds like a layer. Oh, great. Hemolisks again. Sounds like. Still so hungry. And there is your slime monster. <laughs> For seconds. Breakfast for dinner, I guess. For the side of vamp over easy. Not so easy for the vamp. Oh, gross, Eddie. It's hard to know who to root for in these parasite versus parasite situations. Parasite? A demonically possessed symbiote? With a vampire's bloodlust. Not good. Come on, Eddie, don't do this. They are definitely doing this. Aha! Defeat Blood Venom to complete the mission. Venom's consumption of vampires has put him into a permanent frenzy. Venom... Blood Venom's... Oh, so this is Blood Venom, not Fallen. I didn't notice that. He's all red instead of green. Blood Venom's symbiote binds can be broken by attacking them with hero abilities. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Blood Venom won't wait until the enemy turn to launch his attacks, so move quickly. We well, you know that always depends on what they give us for cards. I should have known that thing would crawl back to the sewers once Lilith had no use for it. Wrong! We have no use for Lilith! We are Tell yourself whatever you have to. Not to interrupt, but have you really been eating those vampires, Eddie? The rarest meat of all! So if you are what you eat, what does that make you? Thirsty! This is a serious predicament for you. Okay, this is what we need to do. Ready for a crossover? Good effort. Now? Okay. That's the last one. Dumb minion. Ha <laughs> ha good, even better. At the, least you get to travel to new exciting destinations that comes the before you get beat up. Problem child. They have trapped me. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Well, that's why it's good to have. I don't know. Um. Drawing four cards. I'm going for it. This should help. Okay, 
what does he have? Opportunist and oh, okay. The next ram attack costs very little. defeat him, we have to defeat him more than once, right? Ugh. Really? <laughs> well, it's up to you, Spidey. Yeah, I don't want to remove any of these. Never know. That's one less attack. He's only going to hit us once. Oh, not even. Good. Oh, man. More hunter incoming. This is low even for you, Eddie. Moping in the sewers, scarfing down the undead. You're better than this. <laughs> You. I meant more on a personal or even spiritual level, you know? We know your blood will make us stronger than she ever could! Not lost. This is where heroism comes in, of course. For you. Oh, he gave me a he gave me a bleed. Look at that. You have earned this. You were too weak for this fight. 288. What do we do with that? Hmm. See, this is the one I want to use. Hmm, pity. Give me something better. Try this on for size. Some for the rest of us. It has me tied up here. Hmm. <laughs> well, well. Spidey, that's not going to work. Can't do that. You know, he's just not in the right place for it. Okay, that's the first time he's down. I know it's gonna be more than one time. Yeah. 
I never thought I'd miss being chased across the city, but this is really getting gross. Somehow the smell is even worse down here. He's not eating roses. <laughs> <laughs> do that. You can get him down and him stunned. There is no escape. So that's how you wound up in the history books. Takes care of that. Let's do that too. None of us are... Oh, I'm still bleeding? Okay. Not anymore. It's better if when they get me. Let it's another thing... Let us see if they have an answer for this. ...when uh, my own problems get me, so I'm not letting that happen anymore. Uh, Spider-Man, where are you? This, that's a nice crit, but... What are we gonna do about that? We're gonna get bitten. Because I should have waited. <laughs> Remember the old days, Eddie? We had our differences, but were they really as bad as this? Good or bad. Time for some Try that more often. They're good. Now let's see what part two does with without any mind benders. <laughs> Demon energy from every pore. Don't lose it, pal. Either of you. He is lost. One mercy remains. Ah, yes. The elimination of one tormented soul for the good of many. Oh, but humans do love a moral dilemma. The umami of an otherwise flavorless existence. Mephisto. Gesundheit! Uh, nice mullet. Go to hell. There's nowhere I would rather be, but I've come on business. So let's make a deal. Is this one of those fiddle at the crossroads scenarios, or...? No deal. 
My terms are as follows. I spare venom. I cure the symbiote of Lilith's demonic touch. I end the blood fever he's given himself, gorging on curdled vampire bile. I wretched little thinking of it. I said, no deal. All this, and I ask but one inconsequential thing in return. Stop the vampire uprising. The undead are bad for business. So you cure Eddie and we keep doing what we've been doing? Yes. Wipe them out. Remove every trace of their foul scourge from the earth. Then I will cure this pathetic creature forever. For the last time, no. Hold up. Give me the fine print. Nothing much. The usual. If you should fail, you'll discover something far more threatening than the undead, namely all truly, etc., etc., immortal soul, yada yada. This is a bad idea. This or he dies? We don't have much of a choice. I'm in. Good. Just sign there and there. You may feel a little steep. We should follow. You do have a vampire war to wage. Oh, and Peter, I'll see you around. How did he know my... Huh. <laughs> Here we go. We got a new member of the team. Defeat all enemies to complete the encounter. Of all the surprises we've had so far, that was one of the weirdest. So, uh, that's a truce then, right, Eddie? We feel like ourselves again. Weaker, but ourselves. We will spare you. For now. Hey, that's progress. He didn't threaten to eat you. That is progress. <laughs> Venom. Ravenous. So he's got, you got some people with souls, you got some people with binary, you got some people with ravenous. Venom's offense is increased for each point of ravenous. He starts with the maximum amount of ravenous. It's consumed when he uses an attack or heroic ability, but one ravenous will be regenerated at the start of every turn. Plan the use of Venom activities carefully to maximize the damage from Ravenous. Obviously, he exerts himself too much because, you know, just like anybody with a parasite, and yeah, symbiotes are friendly parasites, I suppose, um, uh, they're worn down because they, they both uh, use the same resources. So maybe that's the reasoning behind... Oh, when you use his cards, you get weaker, so make them count. The more, the merrier. Okay, what do we have here? We have a skill card. Draw one Venom attack or heroic card. The next attack card played does not consume Ravenous. Of course, it takes two card plays, plays to do that. Do we like that? I don't know. That's a good question. So, we got to get rid of these. We also have to keep in mind we have two hemolisks here. We have a, a big hemolisk and I guess a, a bigger hemolisk. <laughs> but you know, isn't it better when Spider-Man does these things? It's no different. <laughs> kind of like that. Coming at you.
We don't have anything quick, do Oh, we do. In that case... Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> That'll still count. I'm on that armor must be stronger than it looks. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Okay. Whip throw. I love web throw, and I really want to see that happen. Okay. Let's see how good these are. And I know it's going to take Ravenous away. Apparently he's okay, down to Ravenous. That was pretty cool. We've kind of established that. Now, that said... Mm, let's see what we can do with this. More cards. Here comes the hit. <laughs> You've been on the wrong side of that move before. Yep. Can you do that? Nobody can do that anyway. What do we have left of that? Oh, way too much. And that's got three to go. Hmm. Your mother abandons you. We got this schnook over here. Hmm. Spider-Man, how much do these things cost for you? Still two, huh? We got no combat items, of course. We used them all the first time. Pity about that. There's one of these over here, too. Oh, lucky us. It looks like we're gonna get an attack. It looks like we're gonna get an attack and... This doesn't go anywhere because none of us can reach that far. This takes two. This is gonna bring some thing out and this one's gonna attack us. Um, attack Venom. So, meh. <laughs> I almost forgot what you were like before Lilith got in your head. I've 
kind of missed it. It is your fault Lilith got in our head to begin with. Is that oh. really what you think? I never wanted that. I was trying to keep you from eating my neighbors. Always following us, stopping us, leaving us hungry. Well, that is kind of my job. You can't do both. Hmm. Let's do this better. He's got a headache. Spidey's got a headache. Is there anything else here we can attack? No? Oh, it is very sneaky. Ah, tasty brains, life steal. Oh, there's something. I think, I think Eddie could benefit from this. Oh no, wait, he already has. Oh no, that would that would bring him up. Still like holy burst. Now it might actually have. Now with more vitamins. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that thing is good about to happen. So I would say. Is that going to affect that one over there? Darn! It's not nearby enough. Pathetic. But it does cost less hero heroism than tasty brains. I'll give it that. They cannot possibly match your strength. I did not ask for that. Boy, I really hate that thing. What a terrible, what a terrible feature. I don't think I like the whole cure thing that we just got. Maybe we shouldn't have done that research. That's what I wanted. I'm on it. At least you get to take a nap.
Here we go again. Ha! Huh. I think that's the last of them. And not a moment too soon. There we go. And now, welcome Eddie. To the family. Monster? Something like that. So, you okay, Eddie? Blood! <laughs> it's kidding, little joke. Uh, no, I, I come in peace. For once. Really? New kids gotta get in on this, too? Hey, by the way, you're killing it out there. Respect. Thank you. Not my first vampire war. Eddie, are you yourself again? Well, you mean, are we ourselves? Yeah, Lilith. She made us a monster. We did awful things. You know that's not who we are, right? Of course. So I'm sitting here. Well, in there. And thinking... <clears throat> I saw what you did for me. So, how about we put aside all our... Uh, you know... Personal stuff? Okay... No, not forever. Just... Just until this whole messed up vampire situation is figured out. Till all the innocent people are safe. I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Works for me. Shake on it. Oh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Put her there, partner. I'm there, partner. Welcome to the Midnight Suns. <laughs> okay. I won't complain. Venom is back. You know what? He's going to get a solo picture. Absolutely. For his first one. We did it. We got Eddie slash Venom as a member of the family. And he didn't have a chance to shine, but you know, we'll get him there. Now, I've worked with Morbius before. Now, that's an interesting and very effective character. And right from the bat, he's <laughs> bad. He's, uh, he's very, very strong. And another one with conceal. So that's good to have. Talk to Eddie. Let's see who's um everybody's there. I'm gonna assume that's the Venom icon over there. I thought it would look like the one on the left. Unless that is Scarlet Witch's icon. I have not seen our dog. Oh, he is outside. I hope you know what you're doing bringing Venom here. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure everybody has an opinion. Another day, another addition to the Abbey of Misfit Toys. <laughs> and yes, I include myself. <laughs> the Abbey of Misfit Toys. I have expertise in the extraordinary, but Venom is unlike anything I've encountered in my travels. And immune to your magic, so I've I've noticed. worked with Eddie before. He's not that bad. He's not that good either. If Eddie gets out of hand, let me know. My claws can slice right through the symbiote. I, I don't think Eddie will fit in the Hellride's backseat, or the front for that matter. Ooh, when he's Venom, 
Does he squish down? I, I got lots of trunk space. <laughs> Let's see what everyone else says. I hope inviting the symbiote into our home doesn't corrupt us. You know, morally. Been there, done that. Do you think Eddie would let me take a selfie with my head in Venom's mouth? Ah, oh, never mind. I'm sure it'll happen naturally. All right. Lilith isn't the only one with monsters on her side. Oh, great. Another mouth to feed. Do you think I'm made of money? Well, you're right. <laughs> I didn't know he was paying for the food. The Venom suit has such an appealing aesthetic. But the drool? Mm, I am not a fan. Chaos magic is a huge drain on my mental health, you know. Really? That's what you have to say? Are you alright? Why would I not be? We encountered Mephisto. The. I thought you should hear it from me. Limbo reacts to those stained by his presence. When you returned, I knew. Is there anything I can do? I am alright, Hunter. No, that is a lie. I am not alright. But you thought to warn me. This I will not forget. Wow, okay, that's excellent. Those we should talk to. Well, no, first things Lilith's first. This influence is so destructive. It may be a while before Eddie recovers. Uh, oh, the dog left already. Where did the dog go? Okay, I'm gonna take care of this first. And then I'm gonna speak to Eddie because my doggy is very important to me. Row, 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 row. Hey, doggy. There you go. You have not set anything on fire today, have you? <laughs> I just want to see if the ever bloom ever ever bloomed. Okay. Let's go look for Eddie. He might be at the pool. Oh, doesn't surprise me. <clears throat> hey, dude. Wow. Is this some kind of monastery? You guys really put the home in home base. This is an impressive setup. I hope the accommodations are better than what my mother provided. Uh, your mother gave me a lot of stuff, but most of it was grief. Uh, thanks again for what you did for me. As if my past wasn't complicated enough, your mother added a fresh pile of regrets. Eddie, you are here because a mutual friend believes in you. I mean, he believes I'm trouble. And he's not entirely wrong. I do not want you at each other's throats. Look, Parker and I have a complicated history, but it's water under the bridge. Oh, well, I guess we're still building that bridge. But we have bigger fish to fry. From the yeah, bridge. Yeah, but enough about us. Can you trust me after everything that happened? I mean, I kept trying to eat you. <laughs> Yeah, and terrible cooking advice. After 300 years, I am not that appetizing. Oh, wow, yeah. Probably for the best we never found out. So, now that we've cleared the air, I'm a little worried about the deal we made with the devil. That's the first time I've meant it literally. <clears throat> I agree with you, but Peter made his decision. Our plan was to stop the new breed vampires. Now we can do so with your help. Maybe. I can't shake the feeling that he traded the devil we know for the devil we... 
well, for another devil we know. Why are there so many devils? If the world ends, we shall never know. I'm glad you sound confident. The symbiote and I are on the fence. No offense, but I hear there's a gym here, and I'm itching to check it out. I'm gonna do that, unless you need something else. I would like to get to know you better. Okay, hit me. Ooh, now we get the questions. <clears throat> I would like to know more about you. Really? Like what? What was your life like before you became Venom? I was a reporter, and I was pretty good at it. Well, I was okay. Somewhere between okay and pretty good. Had a few wins. Then one major gaffe blew up my whole career. What happened? <laughs> uh, it's a long story. And not my favorite one to tell. Maybe I'll share the details someday. All you need to know is that it nearly ended my career. I still find the occasional reporting gig, but... Well, let's just say it's for news sites with stories about how the government buries alien bodies in the desert. Do they? Oh, yeah. Just not the kind of aliens these sites talk about. What drives you to fight for justice? Plenty of people will tell you I'm no hero. Some of them might be living in the Abbey. But I really do care about doing what's right. I guess you could say I had a tough childhood. Always wished I'd had a strong friend who could save me from the monsters in my life. So I became a monster. To save those too small to fight for themselves. Yeah, they might be afraid of me, but... I'll keep them safe. You seem ruthless for a hero. Is that a question? Half the Midnight Suns believe the greater good can sometimes outweigh a single life, but... None of them, well, eat their enemies? <laughs> you could put it that way. Eh, my brand of justice is an acquired taste. Uh, yeah. I would like to know more about your symbiote. Naturally. Go for it. How did you and the symbiote connect with one another? I got bitten by a radioactive pool of motor oil. What? <laughs> uh, no, nah, that would have been less traumatic. <clears throat> Truth is, Spider-Man brought the symbiote back from space. Space? <laughs> Be surprised what that kid gets up to. Anyway, Parker found the suit ill-fitting. His loss was my gain. Maybe I'll tell you the story someday. What are your capabilities on the battlefield? Now, without your mom's demonic protein powder, we can still bench press a bus if we need to. We also have limited shape shifting abilities. Our tendrils are handy when we need to grab something or web someone to a wall. Uh, oh, and we can also camouflage ourselves if needed. Hmm. Don't tell Parker, but he traded down when he went back to those red and blue pajamas. I notice that you sometimes refer to yourself as we. Why is that? Because I'm a king in black. What does that mean? It doesn't matter. Truth is, Venom isn't a singular personality. It's a combination of myself and the symbiote. That's why we say we. It must be strange to have a conversation with the voice inside your head. Yeah, well, if you thought it was hard fighting vampires, Try doing it when your costume is yelling in your ear. Eddie, can I talk to Venom now? Uh, that's not how it works. I'm not deranged. I just share a body with an alien symbiote. And okay, yeah, that does sound deranged. But it also happens to be true. You want to talk to Venom? You always are, Hunter. Aha. Uh -huh. Actually, I have to run. I'm around if you need me. He's now available, and... 
that Captain Marvel? You know why? Because we went and saw... Uh, we went for vampires. Oh, what's it like to fight more vampires? I'm just gonna assume that's what she wants. Okay, this will be fine. No need to freak out. Eddie and I got along once, we can do it again, right? Captain Marvel. Well, hello there. Hello there, Strange. Anything else on your mind? Oh, Ah. What does S.H.I.E.L.D. know about Mephisto? What does an international espionage agency know about the actual devil? Yes. Not very much. That is alarming. Look, if Satan had a nuke, I could hand you a dossier thicker than your head. But he doesn't, so... Frankly, I should be asking you. What can you tell me about Mephisto? Well, he is the actual devil. Which is more than what S.H.I.E.L.D. will ever admit to knowing about Mephisto. They should be asking Doctor Strange. He has a pretty good experience and knowledge about Mephisto. Mephisto detests new breed vampires. <clears throat> Do we know why? I have no good answer for that. Nothing based on facts. My gut tells me new breed vampires keep him from getting something he wants. As for what that is... You'll have to ask the devil. Oh, come on, isn't it obvious there's souls that are lost? Why are Hydra soldiers willingly turning into vampires? Define willingly. I think that's Sin's influence. They must be extremely devoted to agree to such a change. Or more terrified of what Sin will do if they don't. I wonder how becoming a bloodsucker mixes with the Gamma Serum already in their systems. I bet that's one hell of a hangover. Well, we got the Mephisto questions out of the way. Thanks, Carol. Catch you later. Now, the inevitable, talk to Parker. <clears throat> Never thought we'd open the Abbey to that symbiote and the lunkhead to which it's attached. <laughs> she called him a lunkhead. Peter, are you all right? Why? Because one of my ex-nemeses now lives in the same building? Do I not look okay? I'm thinking calming thoughts. You seem very relaxed. Okay, good. Which is surprising, because when you sleep tonight, all that separates you from one of your greatest nemeses is a 500-year-old wooden door. And now I'm anxious. If it is an issue, we can find an alternative lodging. Perhaps in Limbo? No, no. I think this could be a good bonding experience for Eddie and me. Sure, I didn't exactly bond with the symbiote, but you know what I mean. I will take your word for it. Anyway, that's not the only reason I'm on edge. Back in the sewer, Mephisto called me by my name. Is that something I need to worry about? Hmm. Mephisto tries to get under everyone's skin. Just ignore him. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I'll tinker with my web shooters for a bit. Gotta take my mind off all this. Okay, are we... are we okay, kids? Is there anything During else? During that last mission, was I the only one who thought, Yep, this is how I die! No? Just me. Cool. <laughs> What's up, Big H? <laughs> Big H. Hey, Steve. Sometimes Eddie's emotions get the better of him, but his heart is in the right place. That's what matters. Go further out. Ah, better. 
Agatha's cottage has a freebie inside. Good. Let me see what we have here. We should take a look at Eddie now that we can. Wow, this is getting big. Let's see, tendril strike, web toss, knocked back in any direction, Un unusable on grounded targets, like hemolisks, I guess. Symbiotic senses. Okay. Tasty brains. And that's his tune up, I guess. So I guess he gets different colors. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> of course, he also has anti-venom. Looks a bit like a bird. And, and they all have... All the fallen that get rescued have an option of fallen venom. Did, did I see something that looks like uh, the green goblin? Where's the purple in this? <laughs> Whatever. It's nothing like a good classic. That's what I think. We'll keep it on this for now. Who did we recently... Who did we recently uh, get a level up? It wasn't Peter. It was always oh, him. He has another uh, Abby outfit. Not that really suits him. Kind of like the uh, Dreamweaver one. Eh. <laughs> eh. Some of these things just. Well, this one's okay. Didn't someone recently also get a, a fancy suit? Was it her or her? I'm gonna assume it was magic. Nope, it wasn't. Um, maybe it was Scarlet Witch. Nope, nothing new there. And Spider-Man, you've got something. Well, your deck we've got. We've got web through here, but I thought we already had established a... Uh, another web throw. We don't. Those are good things to have. I just don't like the heroism, but when you can get the heroism down, it's pretty nice. I think everything we took with us, we never got a chance to use special delivery, but everything we took with us actually came in very handy. So I'm pretty pleased with what we ended up with and the efficiency that we used getting there. Oh, you really run a... Okay. Alright, so for now, I think we're pretty good unless there's something out here that we can pick but there usually isn't anything here this thing takes you down to that area with the uh, cemetery I think she certainly hit herself in an unusual an unlikely spot. Hmm. 
think there's anything here. I think this is only where we had gotten a hold of the, um, a fragment of the moon seal, but I don't think there's anything else here. As you can hear where it used to be. I think it's a bug. We all have that. And down there looks to be, I guess, the Devil's Den? Could be wrong. I see a corpse flower. Over there might be the Devil's Den. more like the stone terrace. Dreamer's Descent. in an early night and get ourselves ready. me, you know, I think we saw stuff here a while and I had not gone to any of this here. <laughs> you know what I just realized? With Wanda back, the New York gang is bigger than ever. The New York gang? That's not a thing, kid. You bet it is. We've always been the gang. We sure were, Peter. Cap, don't encourage whatever fantasy this is. It's kind of you to consider me a New Yorker. You lived in the Sanctum, didn't you? Next time we're all in town, we should check out this cool pizza place in Greenwich Village. I hate to tell him, but the pizza place he's thinking of? I think it went out of business a few years ago. And it was one of the best pizza places ever. <laughs> I can't even compare anything with that. Anyway, Wanda goes, I would love to. I'll keep you company. 
Tony, you're missing out. I'll skip the good. I'll skip the food poisoning and the bonding exercise. Thank you very much. Villages are really well. I have you know what? I haven't been there in a few years, but village has always been an amazing place. Anyway, daily bugle. Away team haze between innings. Game halted until perpetrators are found. Gross! Their locker room was covered in slime. Slime? That's positive for vampire DNA. He molisks in the locker room, maybe? I got it! Let's hear it. What's your theory? No idea! But I do have the ultimate bat pun joke. It's puntastic. Baseball has bats, and bats are known for spreading diseases. Well, hello, Mr. Poopy Pants. Don't look at me to lift your spirits if your emo dungeon ever gets covered in freshly squeezed vampire placenta juice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever. He's got to work on that humor thing. Also, uh, I do want to get... Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And probably a new incentive since, you know, each one of our, our new heroes that are DLC heroes comes with a, a research thing. Okay. See, that might be interesting. Everybody gets steel wind. Oh, hello, little doggy. Good morning to you. Hello, my sweet girl. How you doing? Man, I just wish I could have brought my brother Gabe along. He'd love this place. See, this is going to be his big day because we get to take, it, take him back to the American Southwest. Oh. Do we know what he likes? I mean, I'm assuming he likes a drink. I don't know if he likes it in the morning. Um, in fact, I don't think Havens give him a drink. But, you know, you gotta do the Havens before you can do something else. Let's see what we get for an option. Let's see now. Painting and bird watching. I don't think that's really what he likes, but that's the only things we have. Well, he might like them, just not love them. I'll, I'll do the quiet folly. Keep the eerie crags for someone, you know. How are you settling into the Abbey? Okay so far. Kind of reminds me of summer camp, but... At least this time I have a real bed. Ooh, and a full kitchen. <laughs> I have noticed the kitchen is not as full as it was when you first arrived. Just making myself feel at home. This home is not an all-you-can-eat buffet. Come on, I'm eating for two! <laughs> okay, so we don't have his comic book yet, unfortunately. But we do have Calming Your Inner Demon. And that also counts. Oh, what? Oh, I wasn't expecting this. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I guess he really liked it. And he gets a suit for the Abbey. Instead of just a tank top. And I under uh, sorry. I know a picture is worth a thousand words, but I could describe this in five hundred tops. <laughs> you know the thing about him. I, it's sorry. Good to take a break from knocking heads. You know, uh, uh, females translate undershirt for tank top. So sorry about that cultural cultural thing. Okay, let's get his uh, something else to wear so we could. Ooh, look at you. You got something worth rotating now. I'm curious to see. Anything better here? 
like the Halloween one. See, this is, I think, everybody's got steel wind of something. I think it's for when people have Dark Hunter and they have to have everybody dark with them. So, I like nothing like a good comic classic until he gets his legendary. <clears throat> yeah, I told you I was a rebel. What was his again? Oh, the deck. But we have... Well, we have overpowered here. We were going to upgrade and make a second overpowered. And hopefully we can do that. To spread the love. We wanted to get a second spread the love. Maybe we should make a spread the love. Could do that. Anyway, the first thing I want to do, besides check on gifts, and before I see anybody else, is see what they have here. Konnichiwa, friendo. Konnichiwa. Genki desu ka? Let's see now. Bone candle. Dark beauty. What's this one? I think I gave him... Didn't I already give him fanfic? <laughs> hmm. You know, if I know Peter Parker, he'd want this too, because... Oh, it's an Avenger! <laughs> But Stark probably likes it more than anyone else. Well, let's get these guys released because they're they've checked in, they're done, and we want them available. As requested. Okay, wrapping healing. Nothing special or new about that. I hate to tell you. The Wolverine. Professor Xavier and Wolverine followed Plague's brainwaves out in the field. However, Professor X kept getting contradicting readings, leading them in opposite directions. Finally, Wolverine realized why. Hydra planted devices to conceal Plague's wave pattern. First the Gamma Shift and now Hydra. We're fighting blindfolded with our hands tied. We need a solution, concluded Professor X. And no, I wasn't going to say it, read it like Patrick Stewart, sorry. Alright, Chaos Field. For two turns, allies near. Okay. Another one. None, usually these things are much nicer. Anyway. As Scarlet Witch was getting the eighth slice of cake, the sun was setting and the guests of honor arrived, vampires. In between bites, both of cake and vampire, Scarlet Witch, outlaw, diamondback, protected va the kids, shish kebab the vampires, Gone birth, gone birthday girl, happy money paid, another job well done. Alright. Both kind of lackluster. See you soon. Okay. Hmm. This is getting busy. If someone signs a contract with someone evil-like, a totally random example, Mephisto, what happens if they break it? Robbie, it's a general knowledge question. I'm expanding my horizons. It's just a coincidence that my horizons are as expanded as the latest evil dude we've met. I guess someone like Mephisto can be forgiving. Oh, but not Mephisto. Oh, unless... Oh? He does not deem the signer worthy. Then he will only toil with his soul for just one millennium. Ah. Horizon expanded? Uh huh. Okay. Now, who wants to talk? You know, at this point, Captain Marvel, to me, is probably going to be more of a red herring than anything else. Oh, ask me something about the vampires, right? Can never be too strong, right? Always heard that I have too much energy. Oh, that's good. He's different. That is a compliment. Depends on who's saying it. Used to hearing that I'm too powerful. I need to pull my punches. That seems counterintuitive in battle. I think it's because I intimidate the inferior. 
The most boring conversations are about who is more powerful. What do you think about that? <laughs> you know, they are. And I avoid them like the plague on social media. And you know what? One of my favorite videos on YouTube about this, somebody asked Stan Lee who is more powerful. I think it was Venom or Hulk or something like that. And he said in perfect like crotchety old man style. You know, it doesn't matter because in the end, who's more powerful depends on who writes the story. It doesn't matter because there'll always be one that's more powerful than the other because it's written that way. And he's right. You can't really compare because there's always somebody with a bad day and that's going to lose and you'd think they were going to win because they were your favorites. So anyway, um, yeah, I do think it's a silly argument. But what matters, but I'm going to be diplomatic. And this, I know, will lose me points, so I don't want to do that. The show of strength can avert bloodshed. For me, it's about knowing I can stand up in any fight. It's not about going binary or anything like that, although binary is fun. Real power is standing back up after getting knocked down. <laughs> that is an inspiring notion. Resilience in the face of adversity, baby. That's what I respect about you, Hunter. You're not afraid of your strength, and you fight to win in every battle. Caretaker and Agatha shaped me that way. If they did a good job, we all just might stop this apocalypse. And I'm betting they did. <laughs> okay. Now, let's get to our daily regimen of... Well, only one of them is here. Oh. The other one's on break ogling the cloak. Look at that thing. Sheesh. I still don't know how they're going to get it out. Unless they're going to have Ileana make a, a portal. Erethole! I, I mean, hello there. Apologies, I was astral projecting with someone in the backwards verse. Oh, good morning. Nice shirt. Cool symbol. Uh, <laughs> I wonder why. Okay, new research. What do we need? How many? What, three times? Two more missions with Venom. Eddie Brock has some real interesting theories, doesn't he? I'm usually not a big fan of the crackpot crowd, but if his underground con contacts have can give us an advantage on the battlefield, then sign me up for a tinfoil hat. This is going to be for the war room. Pay intel to modify general missions. That means we'll be able to... I think that's when we can... Uh, re-roll missions. If you, you could hover over something and re-roll them in a location. So... That's something to look forward to. The re-roll mission thing. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? Uh huh? Uh, not bad, right? Well, I don't know. You got three comments here. Ooh. Oh, see, that's even better. Draw one, attack card. The next two attack cards do not consume ravenous. See, there's all kinds of little ways around it. I'm pretty sure Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Third state of matter, indeed. Draw a card for each attack against the target this turn. That's an odd one. <clears throat> And 
negates protection. Does that mean... When it says negates protection... Does that mean somebody with a shield or, or, or a rock shield uh, drops it? That's interesting. That might be worth upgrading. So, what did you have in mind? You know, I forgot who it was I was going to try to uh, upgrade. Was it one of his? I think it was something else. I don't remember what. Anyway. All right, now we're talking. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> See, that's my, all right. Here's the plan. That's my kind I'll of thing. I'll hit this thing with the big hammer. Another tool in our fight against Lilith. Yep. Good day, Hunter. Give me some of that. Way to use that in battle. <laughs> we have a new edge. We thought you wanted us to round off our edges. Well, there's always room for nuance. Caretaker said I need to be a team player. So I guess I'm letting you choose for me too. You know, I don't find that anywhere near as good as some of her other stuff. Because most of the time when we need this, they're not near her as opposed to having people in an area of effect attack each other, which I like a lot better. Yeah, I'm Can't gonna, wait to see how this goes down. I'm that. You know, I should just do it. So if we ever do use it, it's effective. Peace. Thanks. Oh, wait, duh. We got sparring. And we got a new sparry, right? So sparry. We will not feast on your bones out of courtesy. <laughs> oh wow, that's a nice speed speed shot. Stat increased. Okay, 5%. Gotta work that up. But he's also very close to leveling. I still say we should have built a firing range first. I think we're in a place where All right then. Where we can really uh level him and get him on the board, which is important. Let's see what we need over here. <sighs> we don't need that, really. Now we have the better one. This will be not a bot. This should be useful. Those are it on this one. Let's go see what we can do in the. Let's see what we can do in the um, in the library. Let's touch base. Hey, Cap. Hunter, hello. Good morning, Agatha. Let's see what do we have here. We have. Still not there. Well, we have this. We didn't use it, so... Fury Totem. It didn't do anything for me. 
Pile of shadows. I think we have one of those. Still think we have one of these. Lovely dear, you're a natural. That was expertly done, Hunter. Thank you, Auntie. I'm not, oh. Auntie's best friend. Um. <laughs> uh, let me see here. <laughs> Uh, where we're going, are we going to need this? I don't know. That's a good question. I thought where we're going, everybody's going to get um, vulnerable anyway. Uh, draw four cards. I don't know. Are we going to have... Are we going to have a, a summoning circle? Because that's usually what I use these for. Otherwise, it would be something like heroism, which they was not available. Huh, okay. You know what? I like this because if we're gonna get a summoning circle, we could give that on one of, the, on one of the, you know, full, um, full value, full health, um, Hydra Mystics, and then we could just use anything to throw them in, and it's a hundred percent. I I think I want that. Okay, and that said. I think it may seem a little early, unless there's something I'm missing. I don't think we have much else to do. <gasps> oh, hello! What have you been doing, Ebony? Oh, look at that! Everybody leveled up in their in their battle awesome see that's why don't be afraid to check out and hang out and greet the, the abbey animals there's always something to be to be gotten it's a key everybody's healed in this case everybody levels up sorry captain I didn't mean to see now it looks like Ileana is meditating it was kind of cool to see what they're doing he, they're both working out. The mutants are working out. This mutant is meditating. Spider-Man is Spider-Manning and... Captain Marvel's taking a break at the pool. Yeah, it's a pretty good arrangement. We never see anybody here though. Um, at the food truck. I like the food truck. They should give us an op you know, an option to sit here and make it kind of like a hangout, you know? Someone like Nico or or Peter would love that as a hangout. So they should really do something a little bit more with that than just a cosmetic thing. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. Today is the day in Midnight Sun Terms. So the next stream is going to be... Los Diablos. I definitely want to see that happen. So... Till next time. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the whole Eddie story now that he's back with us. Now that he's for the first time with us and that Venom is on the team. Take care.